Christ is risen. Today is the best day of the year because we remember that Jesus is alive. Death has been defeated. God has won. Love has overcome hate and hope has been provided. The tomb is empty. Jesus Christ betrayed, beaten, crucified and killed has overcome. He is alive. Our celebrations may not look the same, they may not be in the same places as we're used to, but today we will still celebrate. We will still praise God together. <laughs>
And it's always an endearing kind of holy chaos, but with added levels of excitement every Easter Sunday. In some years, we've celebrated baptisms. We've ended our Lenten fasting with the joy of feasting. Roast dinners, chocolate eggs, maybe even a barbecue if the weather's good. But this year is different. Christ is risen, but he's not where we expect to find him. Christ is risen and he's not just left the tomb, but this year he's left the building. Make no mistake, Christ is risen. But you're going to need to seek him if you want to find him. Is this the year that Christians realise that Christ won't be contained, can't be contained into our traditions, our buildings, our pre-planned services? Jesus isn't the genie in the lamp who we summon on Sundays to answer our wishes before vanishing in a wisp of smoke. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is alive. He's battled with all the hatred, the brutality, the bitterness that a broken and misguided humanity could throw at him. He's even battled and succumbed to that great leveller, death itself. And he has won. He has overcome. He has risen. The discovery of an empty tomb reawakened a hope that had been thought lost. The two Marys, Peter and John, as news breaks that Jesus is alive, their world is shaken and overturned once more because hope has returned. Christ is risen and he's not in the tomb. He's not in the church building. But he is in our hospitals. He is walking with a nurse in intensive care, with the porter moving patients, the domestics cleaning bloodied theatre floors and receptionists manning A&E. He's present on checkouts and with Bobby's walking the beat. Jesus is with the parents running out of ideas to entertain their kids and the pensioner locked in doors and scared to go out. Providing hope, shining light in the darkness, reminding us that though this season is tough, that though we go through turmoil and hardship and maybe even death itself, he has come through all of this and he extends his hand back to us so that we may grasp it and be led through as well. Christ is risen. Love has won. Hope is here. May God bless you this Easter Sunday. Amen. Our prayers this morning pick up on the uncertain times that we live in. And as the words are about to come up on the screen and are read to us, I invite you to either say them out loud with us in your homes or to simply listen if you prefer and to receive, echoing an amen at its close. So let's pray together. Some of us are okay, some of us are not. This is an Easter prayer for both. May God take the hope that pours out of the empty tomb and pour it into your life in surprising ways.
May the healer comfort you during this season and may his compassion remind you that this is only a season. May the Lord sustain those who are without jobs and may his sustaining mercies appear new every morning. May the Lord awaken us to the miracle of Easter and may we believe now more than ever in the limitless power of the Almighty. Where there is fear, let faith win the day. Where there is anxiety, let peace prevail. Where there is wisdom, let it be multiplied. Where there is despair, let joy break through. May God draw near to the brokenhearted, and may you fully know the reassurance of his presence. May the Spirit breathe new life into your new normal, and may your heart be resurrected with confidence and courage. Lord, hear our cry. Lord, heal our world. Lord, be glorified. Amen. As this time of virtual gathering draws to a close, I encourage you to dig out your favourite worship CD or find your favourite playlist or songs of praise on your phone. And maybe as you're preparing the dinner or maybe just simply as you're sitting down in your front rooms, play those songs, sing along to them loudly and, and proudly, boldly, as we celebrate the good news of Easter, remembering that he is not here, for he has risen. And may you go in the peace of Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit go with you and remain with you always.